Hi guys, my name is Dan Wellman. I'm a software development engineer at the Skype division of Microsoft, specializing in JavaScript and front-end technologies. If you have any questions about the course, please get in touch. I'm on Twitter as at Dan Wellman. Welcome to the Using Jasmine 2.0 Tuts Plus course. Over this course, we'll get to grips with the latest version of Jasmine, which is 2.0, and see how we can use it to write BDD-style unit tests for our JavaScript applications. This course is aimed at primarily front-end JavaScript developers that are new to unit testing and want to get up to speed with a popular and fully featured unit testing framework. You should probably have an intermediate level of JavaScript experience, but don't worry, I'll make as few assumptions as possible and I'll explain everything in detail. We'll start out by setting up a basic development area and downloading some of the various tools that we'll be using. We'll also see what the default spec runner reporter looks like and how we can interpret the test results. Once this is done, we'll learn all of the basics of Jasmine, seeing how we can use its API to create test suites and test cases, and how we can make assertions in order to test our code. We'll also see how to perform simple setup and teardown to make sure that our testing environment has everything it needs. We'll see how we can hook up to the popular and easy to use coverage tool JS Cover, and we'll see how we can generate coverage reports that show how well our application code is covered by our tests. Leading on from this, we'll spend a few lessons learning about how to create test doubles and stub methods with Jasmine Spies. We'll deep dive here and learn about all of the different methods that we can call on a spy to control exactly how the method stub behaves and the values that it returns, as well as the tracking property that can give us information about the spy, such as the number of times that it gets called, the context it executes in, and the arguments that get passed to it. We'll also see the different methods exposed by this tracking property. In the final section of the course, we'll take a look at some slightly more advanced areas of usage, such as how we can create our very own custom matches in order to test the unique aspects of our application that may not be covered by the matches included with Jasmine by default. We'll also see how to use Jasmine's built-in clock for testing code that uses timers, and how we can quickly and easily test asynchronous code. Join me in the first lesson, and let's get things set up and ready. Thanks for watching.